we are coming into the town of Banff, I guess, if there's a Banff sign. There I am, standing up there by the sign. So we're here at our next stop inside Banff National Park. There's some guys who are going caving, I guess. Not sure what they're doing, but they got a lot of carabiners as opposed to Caribbean, Caribbean people from the Caribbean. So we're at Cave and Basin National Historic Site of Canada. Welcome to the birthplace, Canada's national parks. Show my, show our pass. So here's a tip, grab your pass, take it out of your car so that it's free. Otherwise, you're gonna have to walk back to your car and go get it. All right, I've got our annual pass and hopefully I didn't get it for nothing. Hopefully that sign really meant what it meant about the fact that it's free if you show your annual pass. Alright, we have our pass. Now we can enter for free. Plan your visit, it might snow. Linger a while. In case you're wondering why I'm huffing and puffing, it's because I had to go to the car. Of course, if you've been watching a video, and if I didn't edit that out, you would know that. There's the manhole cover, it says bad. It all started here. Wow, what is that? Banff Spring Snail. That thing's pretty big. It doesn't say don't touch. Okay, we're headed to the cave. Whoa, it's dark in here. Whoa, watch your head. This is... Mm, smell that sulfur. Get closer to the monitor. Yeah. Woo! Wow. Is this like the this is the extent of the cave, huh? Is that like this is the extent of the cave? Like this is it. Here we are. You made it. So as you can see by the look on my face, that was a short little, you know, like there's you Watch your head. If you're short, you're okay. If you're not short, depends on how tall you are. Okay, it's a long walk. Make sure you bring your hiking boots. There's the pool deck. I don't see a pool. Maybe this was the pool? Roll the die. Wow, that's ironic. And apparently they have some kind of a horse ride here. So this is the basin. Don't touch the water. We're headed to Story Hall. Welcome to the Story Hall. The Hall of Stories. Oh, look at that thing.
vision shared. We're heading up to the viewing deck. There are the mountains. Mountains with snow on top. Otherwise, or glaciers, actually. And that ends our tour. So if you're ever wondering what rotten egg smells like, come to this place. And don't look at the camera when you're walking down the stairs. So we just left the cave and basin park or National Historic Site. And by using our annual pass, we save $17. Anybody that's 17 and under is free. But it was kind of cool. And if you like rotten eggs, you'll be pretty happy. Because there's so many people who love rotten eggs. Well, it kind of smells like rotten eggs. Sulfur. So we found a parking spot here at one of the, I don't know, many parking spots here in Banff. There's a parking lot, pay parking. Uh, unfortunately, at this time, Rogers is having an issue but it only affects 75% of Canada. So uh, there is a convenient app that you can download onto your phone to be able to pay for parking. And that's what we did, which is more convenient because otherwise you'd have to pay by cash and you probably have to have like cash in coinage. And then, uh, you know, if you don't have enough coins, you can't park here. Although three out, it's like $3 an hour. So there's Banff to my left, as well as in front of me and to the right behind you. This looks like an old train station, but it's a museum of some sort. It's open Thursday to Monday. And today is Friday. So we should be able to get in. Okay, there's a lot of animals in here. So here we are in the museum. Uh, I'm not sure what this museum's called actually. It is called the Banff Park Museum here in Banff. Uh, Alberta. It's a National Historic Site, but because we had our uh, annual pass, Parks Pass, the Discovery Pass, it was free to come in. Just remember to bring your pass inside with you. So for some of you that aren't aware, this is what the heating used to be like many years ago. This is a radiator and it's filled with hot water. And there's a boiler somewhere, usually in the basement, that runs hot water through here and then the heat radiates off and that heats the house. So here is a bison. I think it's a bison as opposed to a buffalo. And actually this glass is pretty old because you see how it's wavy? Yeah. That's usually a sign of older glass. Uh, that's not part of the museum tour. Here's the backside of a bighorn sheep. This looks like a goat, mountain goat maybe. Oh, the gray wolf. Not to be confused with gray wolf himself, who was in Saskatchewan, a historical figure who was actually not a First Nations person. There are lots of like stuffed birds in here. Sharp-tailed grouse. Oh, that's, what's that red thing in there? Wow, look at this. So the other portion of these bison, I don't know, are these bison? Yeah, these are bison. So the other section of the bison is on the other side of the wall. Sometimes I like to try to be bilingual when I'm in Canada. There's a bear, we saw one of those yesterday on the road. Hopefully there's not much glare from this window or the glass. This is a grizzly. If you remember the show Grizzly Adams, you have to be kind of old. And here is what we saw at Elk Island. This is a beaver. Yep, looks like the guy we saw. There he is. And the beaver is on the Canadian nickel. The elusive jackrabbit, that's what we saw in Moose Jaw at the cemetery. He may have been visiting someone. Oh, my mom's got a chair like that.
There's a big macaroni. This is, this is like that intersection in Japan in Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift where everybody just crosses through the whole intersection. My goal is to inject Fast and Furious into a number of videos just very subtly. The street is closed to traffic except pedestrian. So this is the world famous Banff gondola and that's garbage. That's actually garbage. But there's the gondola with people in it, one of the pods, and we'll be going way up there. I forget, there's something special about this. Besides people walking by with chips. See, they even bring garbage down the gondola. You don't want to be on that gondola like pod. There's the ticket booths, but we actually have reservations. So we already have our tickets. There is Starbucks here. As you can see by the banner, it says Starbucks. All right, so we lucked out. We didn't have reservations, but they do have a table available for us. So we got lucky. Thumbs up, thumb up. I mean, it's good. Oh, Canada, our home. It looks windy out there. Hold on to your hats. There's a bear. It's a mirrored bear. Oh, it's a little cool out here. Just a bit. So there is Canada. That is, what, is, what was it called? Sands and Peak. Sands and Peak. We are thinking about walking up there, but we may not actually end up going that way. There is a Canadian flag blowing. Free. Wow, look at that out there. Down there, where is it? Oh, down there is the Banff Springs Hotel. That way is Canada. That way is Canada. And then, wait, over here, that way is Canada. Oh, and here's the gondola coming up and going down. And over there is the heating and ventilation system. All right, we're gonna take the gondola down. It's like a little bit cold here, but not too bad. Hold on to your hats. You know what happened to me in St. John. Woo! All right, now we're headed down. This down is like the opposite of going up. So it's going to be different. This is the line up at like 6.30 or so. There are a lot of people that want to leave. We had dinner at the Sky Bistro up there with beautiful views. It was really good. I enjoyed my food. I don't know about anybody else.
like outside the gondola. Here's what it looks like behind us, or in front of us. Oh look, there's some big horn sheep. Yes, we're in crowds even. Whoa, oh, this I, is I like, holy micro. Like, this is like really fast. We're back on earth. All right, we exit through the gift shop. All right, we have come back down to earth on the gondola here at Banff, in Banff. Hopefully my cap doesn't fly off in this wind. Uh, my cap has been known to fly off before. Not fly off the handle, but you know, flown off my head. So, we'll see. Hopefully it stays on there. I don't wanna lose this one, although my other one was a little more special. The town of Banff has a lot to offer, including afternoon tea. Of course, we did not get to see everything in the town, but there is a lot to do here. So if you get the chance and you're in the area, come visit Banff. Thanks for letting me ramble, and I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please hit like, and don't forget to subscribe to the Rambling with Phil YouTube channel to see more videos like this.